There's more bad news for uh, President Trump when it comes to the Russia investigation. Politico is now reporting that Special Counsel Robert Mueller is now joining forces with New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman to investigate possible financial crimes by Trump's former campaign manager, Paul Manafort. Now, I'll explain how this uh, goes into the Russia uh, investigation uh, and, the, uh, and Donald Trump, uh, but first... They write, and this is, uh, they're, they're citing people that are familiar with the matter. Uh, Political writes, in recent weeks, Mueller and Schneiderman's teams had been communicating frequently and sharing information, including evidence of possible money laundering. Oh, look at that. Uh, now, the partnership, the publication noted, could give Mueller leverage to push Manafort to cooperate with his team's broader investigation into the Trump campaign's ties with Russia and whether or not they had a deal to help Trump with the election, which would, of course, violate campaign finance laws. Now, what's important here and why it's important that Schneiderman is now on the team is that if they find any sort of money laundering, if they, any, any sort of criminal uh, element uh, of uh, uh, Manafort that he had actually done anything in the state of New York, the president can't pardon him from that. Okay, you cannot be pardoned through uh, from the president for a state-based crime. So if Schneiderman, as I said, finds out that Manafort has broken any state law through money laundering for Russian oligarchs, through some certain uh, real estate deals in New York, which happens to be fairly common, Trump cannot pardon him. And that pressure will cause Manafort to basically try and, and look for a deal with uh, the investigators. So that's what they're looking for. So this is very, very interesting. Now, Trump, of course, he hates this investigation. He's afraid of what they're going to uncover, okay, uh, if there is anything. So he's been trying to take preemptive action. The Washington Post reported back in July that Trump's lawyers were looking into Mueller's potential conflict of interest and exploring the president's power to grant pardons to AIDS family and himself as a means of undermining the Justice Department's investigation. And it turns out that, like I said, if, if Schneiderman finds something, uh, uh, finds that he did something illegal in New York, Trump can't pardon that. And that's, of course, going to get um, his uh, Manafort's uh, to, to testify against Trump if there is uh, a crime. Now, another thing here is that... Um, like I said, Trump is trying to stop this investigation. Well, you have Republicans on his side that are also trying to stop this investigation. And it shows how, how much they're getting desperate. Now, this is uh, Republican Ron DeSantis, uh, who's, been, uh, who's introduced an amendment to a funding bill that would defund the investigation, the Mueller investigation, after 180 days. Now, he was recently on Fox News to talk about this amendment. And, uh, well, here's what they said. Is it time to end the Russia investigation? One Republican congressman says yes, and soon. He's proposing legislation to kill the special counsel Robert Mueller's probe into the presidential's ties to Russia six months after it passes. It seems reasonable. Here to explain his new measure is Florida GOP congressman, member of the House Oversight Committee of Government Reform, Ron DeSantis. Congressman, six months is enough. Plus, you had uh, James Comey into, uh, investigating prior to this. Where's this, uh, where's this proposal going? Well, Brian, what we want to do is say very clearly, we don't want to fund fishing expeditions. And when the Deputy Attorney General appointed Mueller, he issued an order that did not identify a crime. He identified a counterintelligence investigation that Comey had been conducting. So you're in a situation where you don't have any limit, you don't have any scope. And what happens is with a special counsel, it's not like a normal prosecutor where you have all these other cases you got to worry about. This is all you're doing. And so if you don't have an obvious evidence of a crime, your incentive is to just find something. And so my amendment basically says, look, this thing needs to be limited to the campaign in Russia and it needs to have an end date if you haven't produced evidence of a crime after almost two years of investigating because Comey investigated for a year before Mueller was appointed then at some point we have to move on with the American people's business Rosenstein seems to be a gift to Democrats and anti-Trumpers that just want to see this president not be successful the way this was written seems criminal seems criminal 
the way that this entire thing was written. This is your fair and balanced channel, by the way. No, no, it's this is all for anti-Trumpers to go try and stop him. And we also don't want to fund fishing expeditions, by the way. No, really. I got one word for these motherfuckers. Benghazi. The biggest fishing expedition of the century. <laughs> How many investigations did they do into Benghazi, right? Six, seven, nine, I don't know. There was, there was a lot. Okay, how many years did we spend on Benghazi? Look, here's the thing, right? They wasted so much time and money on what turned out to be a, a witch hunt. And look, now that Obama is gone and Hillary Clinton, she's irrelevant. She's, she should be off hiding in the woods somewhere. She's not anymore, but we can hope. We can dream, right? Uh, look, since both of those players are gone that were central to Benghazi, now nobody cares about it anymore, okay? Because, again, this was a political witch hunt. It was a political issue, okay? No, nobody's talking about Benghazi, all right? Except when Trump brings it up when Trump's mad and he's trying to deflect against something, okay? But with Trump, there is a lot of shady ties with organized crime, Russian oligarchs, and shady-ass figures, and we've talked about that before. Uh, for example, Felix Sater, who's connected with all three of those things. You also have potential financial corruption. That's why they're looking into Paul Manafort. So what this is, is there's plenty of, they're like, there's a lot of targets. This is a target-rich environment when it comes to Mueller. And he's got his sights set on Paul Manafort. And they're trying to squeeze him. They've gotten together. They're squeezing him to have him turn on Trump. Because look, as Trump's campaign manager, he likely knew if there was something going on, he knew it. And if they can dig up and provide that evidence against Trump, oh boy, that could be very, very problematic for the Trump administration. And this, of course, is why uh, the president is incredibly worried. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.